for modding Jet Set Radio textures. Now there's going to be a few prerequisites, ones that you have to have the PC version, we're not modding Dreamcast version, that's a whole different video on its own. Next again, you're going to need Photoshop CS6. Now if you don't have Photoshop CS6, don't look in the Jet Set Radio modding discord because it, it won't, there won't be a link there. Uh, Third, you're going to need uh, these. I'll provide the link in the description for those. And uh, you're also going to need basic Photoshop knowledge. If you don't know Photoshop, just look at the tutorial for that. But let's get started. So, download what's in the description and uh, extract them. So this is the Photoshop plugin. This is the sole reason we have to use Photoshop CS6. And this is the actual tool. So first thing is going to go to Steam. I'm going to right click on Jet Set Radio. to manage and browse local files. And the texture location is Data Jet Radio. And here we have everything. I'm assuming that you're going to be modding player textures. So in that case, you want to copy copy player.afs. Also, I'd suggest you make this a backup, you know, just in case. So we're gonna go to PVR Extractor. The uh, good data. Fix that in there. Oh uh, yeah, I did that. Uh, it. And, uh, we're gonna run this command uh, script. It's just extracting everything. <laughs> It's done. So if we go into the output folder and go to player, you'll see all of these EVR files. Now in the future we may have a program to immediately convert these to like bitmaps, but currently we do not have that. Okay, so once you're in Photoshop, go to edit preferences, plugins, tick edition plugins folder, and add the PVR plugin, and then restart Photoshop. So restart Photoshop and come back to this video. Okay, so you're going to want to go to where we extracted all the textures, and you've noticed that these are all pretty generic file names. So in the description, I've placed a list where you can mix and match the titles. So beat, here's file 20, open, we get this thing. That may seem scary, but don't worry about it, just click OK. And that's beat's texture, right there. So, at this point, you can do whatever you want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give beat ink gloves.
Right, it's done. Now it's not a very good job, but I don't really care. Wasn't meant to be. So, uh, score to go to save as. Save. Override. This is why you should make a backup, by the way. And again, just click OK. So that, you've now created a modded texture. So now, all we need to do is run this patch called script. And there we go, it's all done. Go to the data folder, and you'll see it's got a new date modified date. So all we need to do now is copy this. Back into our jet set radio folder, and it should be good to go. And uh, here's the results. I mean, I'd say it looks pretty good. But yeah, that's about it. That's pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, if you have any issues, you can always ask in the jet set radio modding Discord. But yeah, that, that, that's it, that's it for this video.